Hello everyone, the Nord Mary here. In this video, let us learn about pallor. So, it is also known as paleness and it is considered to be a clinical sign of anemia. Now, paleness of areas of superficial vessel means pallor. So, to know clinically, in this image, we can see a normal conjunctiva, which is a region of superficial vessel. But on the this image, the, we can see the conjunctiva appears pale. So, this is a sign of pallor. Now, the question is, what causes pallor? Now, anemia can cause pallor, which is, according to WHO, less than 12% hemoglobin in females and less than 13% hemoglobin in males. Apart from that, decreased blood flow, as in shock, left heart failure, or peripheral vascular disease can cause pallor, or decreased blood pressure can also give rise to pallor. Now, where do we check pallor? We can check pallor in different regions. One of them can be the anterior rim of the lower palpebral conjunctiva. So, the lower palpebral conjunctiva has an inner rim, as well as an outer rim. The outer rim is known as anterior rim, the inner rim is known as a posterior rim. So pallor is checked in the anterior or outer rim of the lower palpebral conjunctiva. Now as in this case, this is a normal conjunctiva where the anterior rim does not show any paleness or pallor. Whereas on the right hand side image, you can see a pale anterior rim of lower palpebral conjunctiva, which is said to be a pallor positive case. We also check pallor in the tongue or oral mucosa. Now this tongue shows a normal color, no paleness, so pallor is absent. This tongue shows a positive pallor, that means paleness present. Also we check pallor in the palms. Now the left hand side palm is not pale, so pallor is absent, whereas the right hand side palm over here has a positive pallor. Now nail beds can also be used to check pallor, but nail bed pallor lacks diagnostic value according to MacLeod's. Now this nail bed looks normal, no pallor, but this nail bed, you can see the nail beds are pale and whitish, so pallor is present. Now some doctors also prefer to check pallor in the nail beds of and the soles of lower limbs, but as per MacLeod, that is not essential. So talk to your professors in your particular medical school, if they ask you to check pallor in the lower extremity, do check, otherwise it's not necessary. Now, the book is uh, the book MacLeod's Clinical Examination 14th edition is used as a source of inf inspiration for this video. I hope you have understood the concept of pallor well. If you have understood the concept, please go to my Instagram and Facebook page to get notes and flashcards on the topics. And for medicine related content, go and subscribe to my channel, The Nord Medic. You can also get in touch with me through the following contact links. And for biology related content, check out the channel Animated Biology with Arpan. Until then, bye-bye. See you in the next one.